So welcome to this um, video. In this video, we're going to be discussing about how to restore the adventure work sample database file that I had downloaded in the earlier video. That we had downloaded the earlier video. Right. So the first thing we need to do is we need to first locate where we have actually downloaded the video. So um, if I go into my uh, file explorer and I move to the download folder, I can see my Adventure Works 2019 video that I had downloaded earlier. Now, so what do I need to do with this video? I need to I need to copy this video from one place and go and keep it in the place that is needed within our computer. And that is what we are going to be doing right about now. So first of all, we go to the file which we have seen. The next thing we do is we copy the file by right, using Ctrl C or just clicking the copy sign or right clicking and click copy. Then we go to our this PC part of the computer. I click on this PC. Then in this PC, we go to our C drive, our Windows C drive. Don't worry about my, um, <laughs> I know it's full press, but don't worry about that. Now we go into the C drive, we double click on that. And um, once we are in the C drive, we navigate to the program files. We go to the program files. Now in the program files, we are only looking for something, and that thing is the what is the Microsoft SQL Server. Now, the Microsoft SQL Server is the file or the folder we are looking for. If we look, you see that everything here is arranged alphabetically. So we can just go down to M and we see Microsoft SQL Server, and then we open the page up or the folder up. Now, once we have opened the folder up, the next thing for us to do is to now locate the MS SQL, MS SQL Server folder. Now, this is usually after the client SDK. For those of us that have tried to download and installed multiple times, we're going to have this last folder repeating itself two twice or three times or four times, depending on how many times we have installed or the file, the, file, the SQL Server. But I've done it only once, and that's why you have it only once here. The next thing is to double click on the file to open up the file. You double click on the file to open up the file. When you do that, fam, fam, you enter, you're going to see only one folder there, which is the MS SQL folder. Now, for some of us, that's why we're here, we did not see any folder after client SDK. What we can do is to just put in the file there, just, in, just paste the file that you had copied earlier, paste it here. But if you have a folder after client SDK, open it up. When you open it up, you have MS SQL, right? And then you open it up. Now, this is where we are going. Data and the rest. Now, you try to open back up, and then you paste the file you have copied, you paste it here. The file you have copied, you paste it here. Once you have pasted the file, you are good to go. But for some reasons, when you want to paste, it's going to ask you some questions. What you just need to do is just click continue or OK as the case may be. Now, if for example, or by chance, you were not able to open up this backup file, all you need to do is to paste the file just here. All you need to do is to paste the file inside this folder and you are what? And you are good to go. So we've been able to actually now place the file inside the backup folder of our MS SQL. Now, the next thing for us to do is to now open up our Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio. To do this, we go to Microsoft, um, to our Stats menu. In our Stats menu, we go to our All Apps. In All Apps, we scroll down to where we have M and look for Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio, which is going to be inside of the Microsoft SQL Server Tools 19 folder. We can see SQL Server Management Studio 19. I'm going to click on it, pam, and once I click on it, we're going to have a result. We're going to have this opening. You can see it's already opening up for me. Good. 
So let's wait a bit for it to open up and then we proceed. Good, now it has opened up. Once this has opened up, all I need to do is just click on connect. And um, once I connect, now we now want to restore the AdventureWorks sample database file. How do we do this? We next first thing is for us to go to databases. You right click on databases, or if, for example, you right click on databases and you click restore database. You click restore database. Once you click restore database, all you need to do is you will notice that a restore database window page has opened for you. Now, the database file is stored on our device. The database file is stored on our device. So we need to click on device. Once we click on device and taking our mouse from device towards the right hand side, we will notice these three dots that are here. Now, once you click on that three dots, bam, then a new folder, a new window page is going to come up that will tell you select the backup device. Now, all you need to do here is to just click on ADD add. You can see add right here. Click on it, double click on it twice by saying pam pam. Once you do this, it will automatically take you to that place you had stored your, um, your backup file. You can see mine is the adventureworks2019.bak. Now, if by chance you did not see your own here, just take your mouse towards the left like this, scroll down a bit, you will see the, that this place is arranged just like our um, program files was arranged. So if you had your own, you did not see this MSSK of 15, you can see it you, uh, earlier, and you have pasted it after client SDK. By clicking this MSSK here, you will see it here, you just double click and go. But if, for example, you saw yours, you enter, okay, it was in MSSK of 15, you double click, you double click MSSK again, by chance, you were not able to store inside of backup. You, you, you would see, you are pasted here earlier. You're going to see it here. But if you are the one that pasted in backup, you see your own directly. And then you just double click on the AdventureWorks 2019 and click OK. From here, you click OK as well. And then you see it will load a bit and to tell you it is ready. Once this has been done, all you need to do is to just say OK again and then it would load. Now, for your own, your own is going to go very well. Now, my add an issue because it is already here before. It has already been on the computer. It is already existing. So what I need to do is for me to first delete. I should have deleted and then do it. So let me quickly wrap that. Let me quickly do that. Then let's take it again. Right click, restore, device, three dots, add. From there, double click. Then you say OK. Then you say OK. And then you can see it's restoring now. And then we have it. The database Adventure Works 2019 has been restored successfully. It has been restored successfully. And then we are all good to go. And that is how you actually do what? That is how you restore the adventure work sample database file. Thank you very much and um, see you very soon.